The stock on the Frankies in Ukraine is a part of a series of the lectures on Jewish mysteries in Ukraine organized by the Ideas Without Borders uh, project. Uh, I will be talking about Jakub Frank and the Frankies, a Jewish heretical sect and movement that erupted in the eastern part of what was then the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in the mid um, 18th uh, century. And the events about which I am going to tell you today took place in the area of uh, Podolia. Now, Podolia is a, for an early modern historian such as myself, it's a very interesting uh, uh, part of the world. Uh, the term itself uh, can be uh, a little misleading or ambiguous. Uh, Podolia, first of all, is a geographical category. It's an upland, a raised plateau that stretches roughly from the mouth of the Dniester River till, till, till the Bog River. So the entire, the entire uh, uh, upland between uh, the Dniester and, and Bog is Podolia as a geographical, geographical notion. Podolia is uh, back then the uh, Palatinate, the voivodeship of the Polish-Lithuanian uh, Commonwealth. In this sense, of course, it's much smaller than the geographical uh, uh, Podolia. And then there is the Jewish Podolia, what the Jews called uh, Machoz or Galil uh, Podolia, the province of, um, of Podolia, which is uh, larger than the administrative Palatinate of Podolia, uh, for the Poles, but smaller than the entire geographical uh, um, uh, geographical area, and which is where the events that I am going to describe will take place. Uh, as I said, Podolia is incre incredibly interesting because it is a liminal contested space. Uh, for the most part of the story that I will, for the entire story that I am going to tell tell uh, uh, today, it belongs to Poland, Lithuania. But for 27 years in the 17th century, it's actually under the Turkish rule. Uh, it's under the Ottoman rule. Uh, and it's an area where uh, a Jews, Muslims, and Christians of various denominations um, intermingle um, and live together. It's an area which is very, um, uh, very rich in terms of its uh, culture, very diverse. Um, in terms of its religious and ethnic uh, makeup, but also very contested, uh, right? It's a, it's a place where the kind of permanent war between uh, the Ottoman Empire on the one hand and Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth um, on the other hand takes place, uh, and ethnic and religious minorities such as the Jews are often caught in the middle uh, in these in these conflicts. Uh, for the Jews themselves, it's also an area because, precisely because of its liminality and its contested uh, um, uh, nature, it is an area where uh, various religious dissenters um, always, often gather, right? It's an area that is never under the full control of the uh, rabbinic authorities, uh, where the Jews who have all kinds of unorthodox, problematic, heretical view tend to gravitate, uh, gravitate to. And this is where uh, the history of the Frankists, or at least the first chapter in the history of the Frankists, uh, take place. Who are the Frankists? Now, the Frankists, uh, as the name indicates, uh, were the followers of one uh, Jacob Frank, uh, a uh, Jew who was born in a place called Kakalovka um, in uh, around 1724, some sources say 1725, some sources say 1723. Frank was born there, but he actually grew up in, uh, in the Ottoman Empire, in Turkey proper. Um, but in 1755, uh, he returns to today's Ukraine, uh, back then Poland, Lithuania, um, uh, and starts gathering, uh, starts attracting a large fo following. 
Uh, some people consider him the Messiah, uh, some other people uh, consider him a very charismatic religious leader who would establish some kind of uh, 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 new religion, uh, new cult, uh, uh, some kind of bring some kind of religious renewal. Uh, or, or maybe maybe spiritual re redemption. He has a relatively large following. It's very difficult to assess at this stage how large this following uh, is, but he's gathering gathering a lot of people around around him. Uh, and since his ideas uh, and his practices are considered uh, highly unorthodox uh, by the uh, mainstream rabbinate. Uh, uh, he's also uh, um, uh, he's also getting a lot of resistance from the Jewish religious and um, secular secular establishment. Now, at some point, um, at some point uh, in January 1756, uh, uh, Frank and his followers uh, are conducting a ritual. Uh, in a place uh, called Lanskorgon. We have various descriptions of this ritual and I'm discussing it in uh, 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 great length in my, uh, uh, my book, but I am not going to talk about the ritual itself today. Whatever happens, uh, the local Jews, as well as the rabbis who are uh, responsible for this area are very upset with this ritual. Uh, they uh, uh, arrest Frank and his followers, they deliver them to the Christian authorities, and they pronounce a ban of excommunication on Frank and his, um, uh, and his followers. Now, this is uh, unusual, but not that unusual. In other words, Frank and his group are uh, a, a one of many uh, problematic sectarian groups that are active in this area. It is quite often, uh, quite often happens that the rabbinic authorities are uh, uh, trying to excommunicate this kind of people and up to that point there is nothing, nothing special about, about the history of Frank. What happens next is, is, is highly unusual. Namely, the Jewish authorities are so upset about or maybe so afraid uh, of Frank and his followers that they decide uh, they cannot handle this case uh, on their own. Uh, they need help and the help they may uh, 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 request uh, should come from the Christians. So what happens is something uh, uh, that to my knowledge is completely unprecedented in earlier Jewish history, certainly unprecedented in this, in this area, in Eastern Europe. That is to say, the rabbinic authorities are going to the local bishop and say, uh, uh, we caught a group of very dangerous heretics. Uh, their beliefs and uh, their practices are uh, hostile not only to the mainstream Judaism but, uh, but also to, to Christianity. Uh, we cannot handle this case ourselves and we ask that you, the Christians, uh, will do what you do to your own heretics, uh, namely that you uh, burn them at the stake. Uh, so you have this very weird and peculiar setup in which the Rabbinic authorities, Jewish authorities, are asking the Christians to intervene in something that is supposedly an internal Jewish matter uh, and, and burn Jewish heretics uh, at the stake uh, because their beliefs are uh, um, uh, not only against the normative Judaism but also against normative, normative Christianity. Frank is brought before the, uh, uh, the Bishop of Kamienic Podolski. This takes place in the diocese of Kamienic Podolski. Is brought before uh, Bishop Mikołaj Dębowski, who at that point is the bishop of this particular, particular diocese. 
Um, and the two of have a conversation in which, uh, in which Frank, Frank somehow, somehow manages to flip the tables, to turn the tables on their opponents. So what Frank says is um, our opponents, the rabbis, are accusing us of being uh, dangerous heretics uh, um, uh, who are undermining uh, not only our own Jewish religion, but the ruling religion, the Roman Catholicism, uh, as well as Christianity as, um, as a whole. In fact, the reason why they are uh, persecuting us. In fact, the reason why the rabbis are stepping so strongly against us uh, uh, to approach the bishop's court and to ask for um, for the burning of us at the um, uh, at the stake is that we are not hostile to Christianity, but we are very close to Christianity, right? So what Frank says is at that point is we are not Christians, we are Jews, uh, uh, we do not want to convert to Christianity, but our, we profess a version of Judaism that is closer to Christianity than normative Judaism, than mainstream Judaism, than the Judaism of the, of the rabbis. And for this reason, the rabbis hate us, for this reason, they persecute us, and for this reason, they want to use the church uh, uh, to, uh, to kill us. Um, this is what Frank says to the, to the bishop. Um, and this tactics, which is also rather unprecedented, uh, proves to be very successful. So the bishop is clearly taken by, uh, uh, by Frank um, and uh, believes that he can help the Frankists and he can utilize uh, the Frankists for the good of the um, of the Catholic of the Catholic Church. Now, Frank has some more conversations with the bishop, and at some point, uh, they decide that the uh, way to go about it, that the way the bishop's court can solve this conflict between the Frankists and the rabbis, right? The rabbis who are saying. Uh, the Frankists are uh, terrible anti-Christian heretics. Uh, mm, a, a, uh, uh, the Frankists saying, in fact, we are the pro-Christian, ecumenical, universalistic, uh, uh, universalistic Jews uh, by staging a public disputation between between uh, uh, the two sides. Now the. There is a history of Jewish Christians, Christian this public disputations. This history goes back to the Middle Ages, uh, when such disputations were sometimes, sometimes staged, first in France, later principally in, uh, in Spain, and when the Jews were forced to debate uh, uh, the tenets of their belief uh, and practice with the Christians, in the public space and in front of a, uh, a Christian audience and Christian um, uh, Christian judge, uh, so the disputation that I am going to talk about is partly modeled um, on these medieval uh, medieval uh, precedents. But this is also very different in the sense that this is not a disputation between the Jews and the Christians. This is a disputation between. Uh, um, uh, two groups of uh, Jews uh, who would argue in front of the Christian public which version of Judaism is uh, uh, more legitimate or more acceptable uh, uh, for, the, for the dominant Christian, Christian religion. Now the disputation, um, the disputation uh, is a big event uh, it's well advertised. Uh, it is going to play to take place in the uh, in the cathedral uh, in Kamenitz Podolski. Uh, um, let me just give you the motions for the disputation. Right, there are points uh, around which the disputation is going to take uh, 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 place, and then I will tell you a little bit about how 
uh, how it uh, how it uh, um, uh, proceeded. Uh, so uh, Frank and his followers uh, put forward the following nine motion around which the disputation is going to um, uh, 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 to concentrate. The first motion stated, we believe in everything that was taught and commanded by, the, by God in the Old Testament, right? This is not controversial. The second one says, the books of Moses and the other books of the Old Testament can be compared to a richly dressed maiden whose face is covered and whose beauty cannot be seen. These books are full of, hid of the hidden wisdom of God. They speak of things mysterious and of the future, and therefore they cannot be comprehended by human reason without the assistance of divine gra grace. The third point. The rabbis of old times sought to expound the Old Testament. These explanations are known as the Talmud, and they contain many fables, lies, and much nonsense, and hostility to God and his teachings. The fourth point. On the basis of the Holy Bible of the Old Testament, we believe that there is one God without beginning or end, maker of heavens of earth and all things known and unknown. The fifth point. On the basis of the same scripture, we believe that there is one infinite God in three persons, equal, indivisible, and acting in agreement. The sixth point. We believe that God may take upon himself mortal human flesh, to be born, grow up, eat, drink, sense, sleep, and be subjected to all human pa pa passions save for sin. 7. In accord with Daniel's prophecy, we believe that the city of Jerusalem will not be rebuilt until the end of time. 8. We believe that the Jews have waited in vain for the Messiah to come, bring them to happiness, and grant them power over their nation. 9. We believe that God himself cursed all of humankind for the sin of the first parents. The same God would descend to earth and save the world from the curse. He is the true Messiah, not for Jews alone, but for all peoples. All those who believe in him and do good will be given eternal grace, and those who do not will will be cast down to hell. Now, these are the points for the disputation. Uh, proposed by the Frankists, put forward by the Frankists, and the disputation was staged in the cathedral uh, in, um, uh, in Kamienic Podolski um, uh, in summer 1757. We don't have the exact accounts of how disputation proceeded. Uh, we have anecdotal accounts which are difficult to verify. We've, we don't know if it really went the way uh, uh, they tell us. According to these accounts, the, uh, all the uh, paintings and sculptures uh, and representations of the cross uh, uh, in the cathedral were, uh, were covered uh, for the sake of the Jews uh, uh, who were debating, uh, debating there. The cathedral was filled with uh, local nobility, uh, uh, the priests, some citizens of uh, Kamienic Podolski, and the disputation uh, took place in uh, Yiddish, uh, with the simultaneous uh, translation into into Polish for the for the audience. Uh, we do know that uh, in, uh, uh, that the rabbis. A, uh, fully accepted uh, the general points about the truth of the Old Testament, the fact that it, uh, um, the Bible cannot be comprehended by the uh, uh, without the assistance of uh, uh, divine uh, grace, um, and rejected the points, uh, the remaining points. Now, what is interesting in these points. Um, is what the Frankists are trying to achieve, right? So essentially what they, what they say, if we look at the, the motions for the disputation uh, closer, they profess their belief in the Trinity. They say that there is one God uh, in three persons. Uh, they, believe, they profess their belief in, the, in their incarnation. 
the fact that God can take upon himself the uh, human flesh. Uh, uh, they uh, believe uh, um, in the coming of the Messiah, who is um, uh, supposed to be a universal Messiah, the Redeemer of uh, the Jews and the Christians um, uh, alike. Um, and we believe that uh, 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 there will be no return to the land of Israel uh, and the rebuilding of the, of the temple. Uh, in uh, in Jerusalem. Now these points are oh and, the, and, 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 and yet another important point the rejection of the Talmud right the idea that uh, 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 Judaism as professed by uh, the Frankists and as accepted by uh, the, uh, the Church is supposed to be uh, based on the uh, Bible uh, but not on the rabbinic canon. Uh, in particular, um, a, uh, the, uh, the Talmud. So what you can see here is that all these points were framed and phrased in such ways that they could portray the Frankist belief as uh, 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 similar to Christianity, as a kind of Christianity in Judaism, right? As a version of Judaism uh, in which uh, one can believe in the Trinity, in the Incarnation, in the coming of the, um, uh, um, of the Messiah, and in the rejection of uh, uh, the part of the Jewish canon, uh, uh, a scriptural canon that is also rejected by, um, uh, by the uh, uh, Christians. Now, this, of course, is uh, um, attractive for the Church, but it's also important for yet another reason uh, that I should uh, mention here. Um, and this another reason is, an, is the existence of another religious group um, in uh, Poland, Lithuania at that time, uh, uh, which creates a kind of legal precedent for uh, the acceptance of the Frankists uh, by the Catholic Church on the one hand and the uh, secular Polish-Lithuanian authorities on the other. And these pre pre precedents are the Karaites. It's a Karaite schism uh, that uh, uh, developed in Judaism from the, uh, from the Middle, uh, Middle Ages. During the time I am describing, uh, the Karaites live mainly in Lithuania uh, actually, mainly in Egypt, uh, Crimea, uh, the Crimean Peninsula, um, and then and then Lithuania. Uh, Karaites are essentially the Jews which base their Judaism on the Bible alone, uh, like the Frankists rejecting the rejecting the Talmud. Um, and for the Frankists, they are they are relevant mainly because. A, um, their, because of their legal status, because of the fact uh, that the, uh, um, a, uh, the Karaites' freedom of religion, the freedom of professing their version of Judaism, uh, is already ingrained in the law of the land. And for uh, 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 practical purposes, um, every Jew uh, living in Poland, Lithuania, um, of the time can choose whether he or she uh, wants to be a rabbinic Jew or a Karite. Uh, this hardly ever happens. This happens only in very few cases of mixed marriages, um, but it's already already in the in the law. So essentially the reason why the communist disputation is so is so important is that uh, it happens in a place where, unlike in any other Christian uh, uh, kingdom of the time, which recognizes only one Judaism, here is a, uh, a situation uh, where the legal uh, system, uh, the authorities of the land, recognize that there are 
Jewish religious denominations, just like there are various denominations of uh, Christianity, and that Jews have at least some freedom to choose which version of Judaism uh, uh, they want to, want to adhere to. Now, if there are two Judaisms, there is no reason why there shouldn't be three Judaisms. Uh, um, and, um, a, and there is an additional point of uh, contact between the Frankists and the Karaites in the form of the rejection of the, of the Talmud. So what the Frankists are trying to, to do in this disputation, right, is to present themselves uh, to the Christians as, uh, a, as Jews uh, who are like the Christians in many ways and like the Karaites in the sense that they are uh, uh, the Jews rejecting the Talmud, which is already accepted by, uh, 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 by the Christian, uh, Christian authorities, which of course is strategically um, an incredibly powerful, uh, incredibly powerful argument. Not surprisingly, uh, 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 according to the Bishop of Kamenets, Bishop Mikołaj Dębowski, the Frankists won the disputation. Uh, following the disputation, the bishop issues an official edict uh, according to which uh, uh, the uh, non-Talmudic Judaism of the Frankists is supposed to be recognized, legally recognized, um, as a full legitimate version of, uh, um, of uh, Judaism. The triumph of the Frankists seemed complete following this disputation in, uh, in Kamenets. Uh, unfortunately for them, unfortunately for uh, mainstream Judaism, uh, Bishop Mikołaj Dębowski uh, dies, suddenly dies, uh, shortly after, after the disputation, um, and, um, and the edict is never enforced. Now, at that point, uh, since the, the uh, uh, Frank is there to challenge the power of the rabbis uh, in such a public fashion, uh, in alliance with the Christians, uh, the persecution of Frank and his group uh, by, by the rabbinic establishment only intensifies. The persecution at that point I'm uh, uh, referring not merely to bands of excommunication but also to physical violence. Uh, Podolia becomes a scene of uh, uh, violent clashes between uh, uh, Frank and his followers and uh, Orthodox Jews. Uh, and Frank and his followers are forced to flee to the to Turkey, to the Ottoman Empire, where some of them uh, um, convert to Islam in order to escape, escape the, uh, the rabbinic persecution. Ostensibly, ostensibly the story is, um, is over. Yet the story is not over. Now, we are right now in late 1757, early 1758. Now, it so happened that during exactly the same period, uh, there is a wave of blood libel accusation, of ritual murder accusation against the Jews in Poland, Lithuania. Uh, this wave of accusation has nothing to do with Frank and his followers, uh, but you have a whole series of cases in which um, uh, Jews were accused uh, of using, uh, uh, of killing Christian babies uh, uh, in order to use their uh, blood uh, for ritual purposes. Um, and the person who is um, very active in, in these accusations um, is the Bishop of Ko Kiev, Kayetan uh, Sautik. He's personally responsible uh, for two such accusation, two blood libel trials, and he's also writing uh, two brochures in which he, he expounds uh, um, this, uh, uh, these views. And Sotek has a problem. Uh, Sotek's problem is that not many people believe him. In fact, uh, 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 many people are convinced uh, that he's uh, uh, doctoring trials against uh, um, uh, Jews uh, to whom he owns money um, in order to get out of his uh, uh, his debts 
um, uh, and in order to uh, essentially uh, 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 eliminate people uh, um, uh, uh, to whom he need, uh, needs to pay back what he, uh, what he owns. Uh, so Sotik is a very powerful figure, is a very powerful accuser, but he's also someone uh, uh, um, who already in the eyes of the Christians is a uh, uh, problematic and potentially uh, corrupted, uh, corrupted figure. And Sotek, uh, uh, in order to extricate himself from this situation, uh, Sotek desperately needs uh, uh, allies on the Jewish uh, side. Um, and in order to find allies, he approaches Frank and his followers, promises them a, the, his protection from the persecution by the, uh, uh, by the rabbinate um, and promises that he would bring them back to uh, Poland, Lithuania, where they would have uh, a chance uh, to debate uh, um, the points of their uh, belief with the rabbis for the second time. And this is essentially what, uh, what happens. Uh, 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 Frank and his followers, uh, 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 followers are brought back um, uh, to, uh, to the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, uh, and the second disputation is uh, staged in uh, uh, Lviv uh, in summer uh, 1758. Um, now, this disputation, uh, in turn, uh, has the uh, has seven motions. Um, I will again read them and then briefly uh, uh, comment comment upon them. Number one, all prophecies about the coming of the Messiah have already been fulfilled. Two, the Messiah is the true God whose name is Adonai. He took human form and suffered for our redemption. Three, since the advent of the true Messiah. Sacrifices and ceremonies have been abolished. 4. Everyone should follow the teaching of the Messiah, for salvation lies only within it. 5. The cross is the sign of the Holy Trinity and the seal of the Messiah. 6. A person can achieve faith in the King Messiah only through baptism. 7. The Talmud teaches that Jews need Christian blood, and whoever believes in the Talmud is bound to use it. Now, if you compare the motions, this is two years. This is this is two years right, later, right? The communist disputation is is summer 1757. This is summer 1759. Uh, and if you compare the motions from both disputations, you see you see three things. One is that the Christian element becomes much more pronounced in the second disputation than than it is the, in the first. Two, that the messianic element, the, the emphasis on the Messiah, uh, becomes much more pronounced in the second disputation than uh, in the first. Uh, and three, uh, the last point in the disputation, the uh, uh, point uh, about the use of Christian blood by the, uh, uh, by the Jews, which is the key point of this disputation. Like in real terms, the Lviv, the Lviv disputation uh, it uh, focuses on the last point and on the allegations that the Jews uh, uh, cr kill Christians uh, um, for, ritual, uh, for ritual purposes. Now, this point is also extremely unusual um, in two regards, uh, and this should be emphasized. First of all, to my knowledge, this is the only case in the entire Jewish history uh, when the blood libel, the, the Christian myth that uh, the Jews use Christian blood uh, for uh, Passover is used as a weapon as in, in, in an internal Jewish conflict. Um, it never happened before, I don't think it happened ever, ever after, uh, that the Jews themselves uh, became involved in uh, perpetrating, perpetrating the, the, the blood libel. Uh, the second point is that the accusation is phrased 
uh, not as a specific point, right? In other words, it's not the claim here is not that the Jews in a specific location at a specific time uh, killed a specific Christian um, for their ritual, uh, uh, but it's phrased as a general tenet of belief, as something that can be actually discerned, that is written in the uh, uh, Jewish scriptural canon, uh, uh, and that can be demonstrated on the basis of the rabbinic uh, writing, right? So the accusation is uh, essentially that the uh, uh, Judaism is a religion that has uh, human sacrifice uh, among its uh, uh, tenets, and thus these tenets are expounded in rabbinic, rabbinic writings. Now, this is the main point of the disputation. This is this is uh, uh, this is what uh, what is debated in Lviv in summer uh, uh, 1759. Uh, the disputation attracts immense attention. Uh, it's one of the first events in uh, uh, East European Jewish history which has a coverage in the in the press. So people are actually writing. Uh, reports in uh, newspaper reports in in real time. Um, there are also multilingual reports about about this this disputation. And what happens at the end is that the the church, uh, which initially stimulates this disputation, uh, is getting the cold feet. So Sotek, the, the 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 bishop of Kiev, who is the main accuser would like to, for his own reasons, would like to dem demonstrate that the accusation would, would like to be able to, uh, 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 to pronounce that the accusation is true. Uh, but the church as a whole, uh, first of all, the church knows that the accusation is not true, um, but it also has no interest um, in uh, stimulating a uh, wave of anti-Jewish uh, persecution uh, a, 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 that would probably spill over into the entire um, uh, Poland Lithuania. So the judges in the disputation uh, 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 decide um, uh, that, uh, that there is no ruling. Neither side managed to convince them uh, of the truth. Uh, um, of their um, of their points, uh, uh, this uh, merits further investigation, uh, which of course, uh, which of course never happens. Uh, so these are the two public uh, public disputation between the Frankists and uh, uh, and the rabbis that took place in Ukraine in in the mid 18th uh, uh, century. Uh, I shall just say that in the wake of the second disputation, following their uh, use of the blood libel as, uh, as a weapon against the Jewish religious establishment, uh, the Frankists were left with no choice um, but to convert to Christianity. Uh, um, approximately uh, 3,000 uh, uh, followers of Frank uh, converted uh, to Roman Catholicism in uh, uh, Lviv and its surroundings uh, in summer and fall um, 1759. Uh, and from there onwards, uh, uh, the, their group, their sect, uh, continued their existence, uh, but as a group that officially professed Christianity, not as a group that officially uh, professed Judaism. And the whole history of uh, um, Frankism, which lasted well into the 19th century, moved westwards. Uh, so the Ukrainian episode um, of, uh, um, uh, of the history of uh, Frank and the Frankists ends, uh, ends here. In the later stage, uh, um, uh, the story takes place in, um, in central Poland and following uh, that also in Bohemia, Moravia and uh, German lands. Uh, uh, but this is, this is another story. Thank you very much.